First on our list is a sudden change in your workload. If you notice that you're being assigned fewer projects or tasks, it could be a sign that your role is being diminished. Often, employers reduce an employee's workload before letting them go to minimize disruption when they leave. Next, consider your relationship with your boss. Has there been a significant shift? Are you receiving more criticism than usual, or perhaps less communication overall? A change in the dynamics of this relationship may be a sign that things are changing on a larger scale. Thirdly, are you being left out of the loop? If you're not being included in meetings or discussions that you were once a part of, it could mean that your input is no longer valued or needed. Another point to consider is whether there's been a change in your performance reviews. If you've been performing at a steady rate but your reviews have suddenly taken a downturn, it could be a sign that your employer is building a case to let you go. Fifth, pay attention to how others at your workplace are treating you. If your colleagues are acting strange around you or if you're being isolated, it could be because they've heard something you haven't. Finally, trust your gut. If something just feels off, it probably is. You know your workplace better than anyone, and if you feel like something is wrong, it might be worth preparing for the worst, just in case. Remember, these signs are not definitive proof that you're about to be let go. They're just potential indicators that something may be amiss. It's always best to have open conversations with your employer to gain clarity and potentially address any issues. And, if the worst does happen, remember that it's not the end of the world. Sometimes, a door closing is just a sign that it's time to find a new one to open.